Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the BAM Witch's Moon for July 2018. Yay! For the month of July, uh, the name for this particular box is called Align and Activate. And I do want to say that the reason I love putting these reviews out, um, I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to say anything bad about the Witch's Moon because I love everything that they put in uh, because you can tell that it's not just like commercial stuff, that it's all done with intention. It's all done with love. And I think that this is like uh, great ideas for people to kind of look at and see like, you know, what you could do for your own uh, magical practice or maybe DIY projects or maybe gifts for people like things that you can create yourself or if you feel so inclined if you want to um, you know get them a witch's moon or uh, get uh, individual products I'm just trying to put all this like awesome beautiful things out there uh, so people can just view it not necessarily buy it or you know things like that but you know if you would like to subscribe to the witch's moon i'll put the link down below um but i'm not you know obviously sponsored by them but hey witch's moon if you happen to be watching this i'd love for you to sponsor me but <laughs> not necessary because i love your products okay so in this month it says we work to revolve um our world around the beauty that is instilled in silence meditation and ritual these sacred moments allow us to align our chakras, activating our intuition and creativity. If just for a moment we can replace our thoughts with vibrations, our insecurities with acceptance, and our doubt with an overwhelming feeling of power and control, we can be one with ourselves in the energy of the universe that surrounds us. It is one thing to speak the word, but another to encompass it. Our practicing witches, as practicing witches, we become deeply in tune with ourselves, giving strength to our intentions and conviction to our manifestations. This sacred month of July, we work with the power of aligning and activating. Holy crap, that is beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at the first thing that came in the box, and there were um, 14 items uh, this month. Okay, so the first item came in this beautiful blue box, and you could tell there was kind of like a bluish theme. Um, actually, let me show you the paper inside the box, because I'm in love with just the paper. <laughs> you know, because I love color, so let me show you that real quick. So when I opened up uh, The Witch's Moon this month, there was this beautiful mint color and uh, the color of hemimorphite or amazonite, which is like my some of my favorite colors in the whole world, and stones. So yeah, I was pretty, pretty smitten already. So um, the symbol on the front has been hand painted with the sacred symbol for the feminine Unalom. Um, and the symbol represents the path of wanderings and becoming more conscious of your surroundings until you reach the straight line of enlightenment. So I thought that was beautiful. I'm definitely keeping this box. Okay, so the box is gorgeous, but what is inside the box? Uh, oh, yes, it's a, manda, uh, a mala. It's oh, so beautiful. Okay, so they have, um, for the green here, uh, treated howlite. So that's not turquoise, but treated howlite. But I love howlite, so that's totally cool. Um, the kind of white stones you see here is agate. And then, kind of hard to show up here. But you have some more uh, greenish colored stones. I mean, if you look against the white, you can tell there's a little bit of a color variation. Um, and those greenish stones, that is Amazonite. So it's got a beautiful, cool feel to it. Um, I wore it like right out of the box. <laughs> it was so beautiful. Um, and I'm going to wear it today. <laughs> I'm probably going to wear it every day and I'm going to be using it for my meditation for sure. Um, Cause I, you know, I use malas not just for wearing but i also like to use them for their intended purpose so this uh, witch's moon oh my god omg oh my goddess <laughs> yeah so um this is beautiful and uh the reason they used amazonite they say is because it's called the hope stone and so um i think that goes well with the sacred symbol that they put on the front of the box that contain uh this beautiful piece of jewelry and um sacred tool Next was the tri uh, Triquetra Charging Plate. 
Um, so it's uh, basically um, representative of the maiden mother crone, uh, mind, body, spirit. Um, you know the, but for me, um, it's that triangle. For for me, it's it's stability. It's um, I don't know three sacred points within us, and all all of that's like in my own practice, but. I was really, really, really stoked to uh, receive this. There's a lot that's going to be going on this charging plate, but they said that um, you can keep your mala on here to charge it up uh, and give it uh, some of that energy, and I think that's absolutely beautiful. Let me get in so you guys can see the beautiful metal. Yay! So this was the tag that had a bag of full of goodies, and it was called uh, Grandmother of Pearl Cleansing Kit. Um, and these were the items that were in the kit, and I'm going to show you those in just a second. Um, it says that uh, everything in here was sustainably harvested. Um, allow the healing and protecting energies of this kit to set the stage for your meditation and ritual. It has blue sage, which is grandmother sage, for the cleansing and activity and exorcism. Roses for attracting love and promoting domestic peace. Lavender for healing protection and clarity and a stick of cinnamon so let's take a look at that oh okay, so this is like so dainty and so pretty um it's very very thin shell but it's it's got that iridescence to it you got your cinnamon stick you have your bundle of blue sage and it's got the pieces of rose in there and lavender and then uh roses and lavender um, in here so I mean I like to spread some of this out in my garden but I like to burn it as well um, I might even put some of it in like an oil but yeah oh, it just feels powerful in my hands like whoa <laughs> is one of those beautiful candles that the witch's moon always has but it's this beautiful minty color and it's glittery oh getting in on that glitter it's beautiful and of course they have their spell wrapped around it, but I think it's very personal, so I never read the spell. But okay, so let me back this up a little bit. Okay, so this is called the Awakening Har Spell Candle. We have handcrafted the spell candle with the purpose of preparing the practitioner to courageously engage with the challenges and obstacles of life. The Har Mantra is used in classic, kund classic kundalini meditation for courage, fearlessness, strong aura, and creative prosperity. Oh, it is so beautiful. I cannot wait to work with this. Okay, they also added their um, third eye magical anointing oil, uh, which was created with the intention of unlocking and manifesting your psychic energy. Yes! So inside this magical oil, we have um, clary sage, rose, geranium, and sandalwood. Um, they also have ginger root in here, uh, Lemurian quartz, um, and then a mixture of their air magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. And you can see it's one of their, um, their ombre glass bottles again, which I am loving by the way. So you give it a shake and when you give it a sniff, it's, um, I can, it's heavy on the, the sandalwood. <sighs> yes, it, it smells earthy with like, um, like a spicy earth, uh, which to me that's um, that ginger and sandalwood mostly that I'm smelling in here, at least for me. Next, they have their Inner Sense Sacred Salt, and of course it has the flower of life. It's gorgeous. So when you open it up, it smells, for some reason it reminds me of my dad. <laughs> it smells really masculine, um, like masculine flowers, if that makes sense. Um, but in here we have um, rosemary, lavender, chamomile, and they've also added a mixture of their peace magical oil in here. So yeah, I, I'm smelling that lavender. Um, but yeah, I guess when you put all those together, it kind of smells like my dad. <laughs> they also included a clarity stone, which is a beautiful piece of quartz. And of course, in a nice, um, blue bag, again, the theme of what's been going on. Um, but they included the quartz because they consider it, you know, like a master stone, a master teacher stone, um, and a cleanser of all the chakras since their focus is, uh, chakras, um, 
in this box and I could always use more quirks. And what I love about this is that it has um, at least my piece and everybody's gonna get their, their own piece. Um, it has a flat top to it. And so like if I put it, I don't know, I can put it here and then maybe like set something here. Or maybe I can even set something on top. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. Okay, when I opened the box, I was hit with this incense here and this is Yelang Yelang, which is one of my favorite um, essential oils to uh, sometimes wear alone in moderation because it is a very strong scent and they do mention that this is being very strong that if you're sensitive to smell uh, that you might want to light this outside and maybe let it waft outside um, but for me I don't mind so I'm going to be having this inside uh, I like to mix ylang ylang with other things it is one of the main flowers for the Philippines so it's like part of my culture as well so I'm so excited um, and this is considered a, a sacral smell because remember like yelling yelling is is like love sexual energy like uh, it's so wonderful <laughs> they included another tea this month so i'm so excited and you get your little muslin bag with it um and i was good i didn't have any yet i always wait to do this video before i have some so that means as soon as this thing is over i'm having some but it's the vivication white tea um vivication means to give life um, and it says that inside this tea we have hibiscus, rose hips, safflower, and white tea. Yes, 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 yes. C, 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 C. The witch's moon always includes a couple of herbs. So here we have some garden ginger. Um, I always have plenty of ginger on hand in my house. Um, I like to use it in a lot of the foods that we eat. And if anybody is ever sick, um, I have my family recipe for ginger tea, which will clear anything up. Um, but uh, in this witch's moon, they have included the garden ginger to increase your acute attention, which might be needed to focus and enhance your spell work. So that's awesome. They've also included some mountain mint, um, which is also known as marjoram. And it's uh, used to bring protection into the home and develops loving and happy energies. I mean, like, who doesn't need that? So that's pretty cool. Within the Witch's Moon, everybody gets their own oracle card. So it's intuitively um, picked for the recipient of the box. And that's kind of like, you know, the, one of those personal touches that I really like, you know, knowing that not everybody is getting the oracle card I'm getting and that they had to consciously stop and think about the person that this box was going to. So not every, you know, and everything was, you know, obviously hand wrapped and, you know, neat and, and carefully placed inside the box. So that's, that's, you know, why I love talking about the witch's moon is because it's so personal, it's so beautiful, and I think we need we need more of that out there. So whether or not you subscribe to the box, um, but you know, maybe create your own little box to give to others or own, your, your own little thing and, and just like spread that joy. I mean, I like doing that. Like that's one of the things I love to do. I reuse the Witch's Moon boxes to put my own like um, collection of things and I, I gift those boxes to other people. So um, this was my card. And this comes from the Awakening the Five Elements deck by Allison Di Nicola. Um, and the artwork is by Sabina Espinay. Um, and this is definitely like what I'm going through right now. And then it gives you a little bit about the Chin Mudra. Ah, oh, yes, it's always spot on. It's always spot on. And the Witch's Moon always adds their, you know, blank piece of parchment paper so you can use that to write down your intentions for the month. I always do that and then I burn last month's intentions and then I write down mine. I'll light the candle. I do, you know, um, I recite the spell that's on there. I, I have my own little thing like to kind of start incorporating the um, magical tools here and so, I mean, use this however you wish. And the last piece of art is the Chakras Book of Shadows artwork, which was created by Adrian Alden exclusively for the Witch's Moon. And let me get in nice and tight so you guys can see how beautiful this is. It has information on each of the seven chakras. And it's so pretty. I love the woman in this picture. This is staying on the altar 
for quite some time now. <laughs> like this will stay. I love this. I love the I love the energy coming off of this. I love all the artwork, but this one just really seems to resonate with me the most. And I know Dead Cheeky is tired with the word resonate, so I am energetically connected, magnetically attracted to <laughs> this piece of artwork. So that's it. You guys, that was everything that was in the Witch's Moon. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, place that down below. Again, I'm gonna put the link down below for the Witch's Moon, just in case you're interested, but I'm not pressuring anybody to subscribe at all. Um, but I am rather happy with um, all the wonderful gifts that I get each month in the Witch's Moon. And I think that it is very reasonably priced for the um, amount of work and love that goes into each box. And um, that's it from me, your spiritual homies. If you want to catch a reading with me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com and I'd love to do a reading for you. Um, and head over to patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot because I am creating my own oracle deck. I have a five elements meetup coming up July 21st and 22nd and that is absolutely free because of my homies on Patreon. So if you want to become a part of that where you want to see me like start doing workshops, meetups, retreats, uh, more Oracle decks once this one is finished, um, uh, books, um, you know, anything, you know, uh, you guys get to be a part of that creative process and you get free goodies in the process. Like what the deuce? <laughs> so anyway, I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love and chicken grease. Peace out.